I'm just waiting for stuff to dry now. It's actually dry, just not cured. So. Let's see. That one. This one I wound up putting like a little piece of metal, like a little metal collar, kind of like a dam, just to keep the epoxy from running away from this mount. I really wanted to kind of build it up and make sure it was nice and secure. Plus it kind of ran through the cracks and really sealed it in. I'm pretty confident that it's strong now. So It's ugly. I got a lot of epoxy everywhere, but like I said, I'll take a little grinder or something, a little sanding disc and clean it up before I paint it. But right now, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I think I'm going to mess with the front USB panel. I'm going to kind of dissect it and see if see what I got to work with. So this is the old panel on the 780. It's got the little PCB and um, the USBs and the audio front ports. This is actually for the power switch right here which is right underneath here. It's that little button on the front and it's got that little glow thing that kind of pushes on it. What I'm gonna do, I think, is, um, whoa. All right. I just pulled the main I.O. cable out of there and it kind of snapped, but whatever. I'll pull that off. This is the front panel, or the switch. What I think I'm going to do is take this little board off of here. There's one USB gone. So what I think I'm going to do is just rip off all these components here and then I'm going to open up these and I'm just going to mount these uh, USBs right there and I'll do the same thing for these little audio ports mount it right there that way I can slide this right back into this bracket and it'll bolt right perfectly in place onto the chassis and hold everything Let's open up this little deal kind of like little three little tabs right here that kind of pop open and then you got some tabs back here too but once you get the first ones open, it's, it's not like we need this part, so just bend it or whatever. Then these ones will go right in place where those ones were. So I cleaned up this board, took all the components off of it, screwed it back onto its little mount, and now I'm going to... Um, I took the cable and I separated them. I cut this little collar off so it'd be easier to mount them. And um, this little thing has like some little tabs that stick up. I trimmed it flat on one side. And there's just markings right here. A little square for that audio, a little square for that audio, and then rectangles where the USB will be mounted. So basically I'm just gonna um, put it right where it needs to be and hot glue it in place and hot glue anything back here to protect it from um, possibly I don't know, touching any of this and grounding out or causing audio issues or anything like that and then these uh, USBs are going to do the same thing right there and then I'll secure it, maybe I'll drill some holes in here and zip tie it to the board so it doesn't move you know what I mean, then it'll just be one chunk so now I have the motherboard completely mounted and the CPU cooler completely mounted and I didn't have to trim up the graphics card yay just trimming off that little ring gave me enough room see it's still flexing a little bit it's not even touching it's awesome uh, I also did the front front I.O. It's all wired up now. It looks pretty, pretty close to the, what it was. It was off, off-centered a little bit before too, but it looks pretty good. 
now all I gotta do is let's see. I'm gonna mount the power switch. I want the little power button in the front to still turn it on, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim up this little plastic piece that's left over from the button. See? I'm just gonna trim it up like up here. And so when you push it, it pushes that button. And it's got like a really nice action. It feels nice. And all I did was uh, run a little screw right through it with a little spacer to get the to get the spacing right for uh, you know how much push this has. I just spaced it properly with a little plastic shim. You can see it in there. And then that's just going to go underneath the motherboard and plug in right over here. Bam. That'll plug in there. I already tested the PSU cord. It's Everything's looking good. That's where we're at. Got everything working. All the front panel IOs installed. I had and filled all these little holes with hot glue and kind of shaved off the top of them with a the razor knife just to kind of clean up the pan a little bit you know what I mean now I'm gonna lightly take a sanding sponge and just kind of go over it a little bit to knock anything loose and then I'll um, brush it and air compressor it, wipe it down, and I'm going to just hit it with a little bit of spray paint just to um, kind of clean it up. I'll put like some uh, screws in these holes just to make sure that no like excessive overspray gets on the threads. And then after um, the paint dries, I'll grab the motherboard and mount it. So is finished pretty much. i got to connect that one little wire, see it hanging off the edge right there. I soldered on it, broke, broke free. It's kind of ugly, but you're not going to see it. I'll probably take a little bit of electrical tape and um, like wrap it around the ends right here just to give it a little bit of cleaner look. And I'm also going to cut that PCB at an angle right here just to clean up this corner that's kind of hanging out over right there. Alright, I got it all prepped and ready to take it outside and paint. I got the little screws in the ends right here. I kind of sanded a little bit, just kind of roughed it up and knocked anything that's loose off. Kind of put a little tape on there so I don't get overspray. Instead of taking it off, I don't want to do that. So, it's ready. Let's take it out inside and paint it. See how, see how much it cleans it up. It'll clean it up quite a bit. Okay, so right now I'm hand cutting a new I.O. panel for the rear of the computer. This is the little heat shield, whatever it is. The I.O. shield foam pad, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> um, I used it to you know, draw a new pattern. And now I'm just taking my little razor knife and a straight edge and just cutting it out of a CD case. Actually, it's a Wii game case. I'm just waiting for the paint to dry on the case, so I decided to do this. And as soon as that paint's dry, the motherboard's going in. All right, so I got it all painted. Eh, it still kind of looks a little rough, but it definitely did clean it up. Now all I gotta do is remove these screws. Masking screws. I installed the new I.O. I chopped off that little corner, it's kind of weaving the things through here. Everything's set. Bam. So it's time to put the motherboard in. Here's the finished I.O. I think I still need to trim it up a tiny bit around these little deals. It's a little tight. The strip. The strip's kind of hiding that edge that I screwed up. I do this black and leave this white. Or I might do the whole thing black. Probably do the whole thing black. And I got I painted the heat heat sink shield. Almost there. 
Almost there. 